Jim Ike talks about his failed marriage. For someone who is in the limelight, Nollywood actor Jim Ike sure knows how to keep his private life private. You see what I did there? The movie star revealed a whole lot during his interview with Chude Jideonwo on his show, hashtag with Chude, stating that there are so many things about his life that he has kept away from the prying eyes of the public. Take a look, guys. I've had a failed marriage. I've had so many failed What? Yeah. yeah. And then nobody, nobody. Uh, nobody knows that. I have, I have two, three beautiful kids. So how are you going to know? Mm. I hate to be figured out. Mm. Once you figure me out, I have nothing else to offer. He also spoke about uh, people that live in this space, how they don't know anything. And he said, and I quote, even my sisters called to hear from me. Even my PAs don't know stuff. I keep everyone on their toes with my level of unpredictability. End of quote. Speaking on how his marriages collapsed, G. Mike said, and I quote, I suffered a lot. My mom died. She was my best friend and business strategist. I lost all that when she died. There was a spirituality and connection that I lost after she died. I'm a product of love. My parents were so in love with each other. So her death shattered my dad too. Their kind of relationship opened my eyes to the kind of marriage I wanted too. He continued. I didn't grieve all through the process of a death and burial, but by the time I started to grieve, my wife became pregnant with my first son and I wasn't as loving as I should be. I lost my sense of humor and the lion in me, so she suffered for that. I became an obsessive dad after my son arrived. I took all my love and care on our son and abandoned her instead. I was an excellent dad but horrible husband too. After a while, she left. She said she couldn't find the man she married anymore and we quit, but we're still friends, and of course. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, it's the fact about, did you make say two or three, two, two, three kids? Is yeah. It, it's not, is it two or three? <coughs> That's the thing. Okay, yeah, that aside, yeah. Um, <laughs> I watched um, snippets of this particular interview. Mm. <laughs> he talked a whole lot about everything. He even talked about the old Jamaic, uh, um, the old synagogue yep. deliverance mm. thing that he said till today. <laughs> he not really waiting hit up inside a church, and he thought that was supposed to end his career and everything. Yeah. But it's crazy how there are people like Jamaic that you know these guys everywhere, but you don't, you know, don't know anything. anything. About yeah. Him. Ah, ah. G Mike. I now we don't know whether it's two or three kids. Eh, mm -hmm. He's seeking to confuse us. Yeah, again. inside the. But then of them, might even be more. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very possible. But I like the fact that he came out and said this is the reason why his marriage didn't work. Another person would have said, oh, it was depressing. You know, but he's yeah. taking full responsibility. And his explanation uh, kind of makes sense, to be mm -hmm. honest, because I mean, you're going through grief and then you have, you're going through joy at the same time. So it's a very weird space. And maybe to distract himself from everything happening, he just said, you know, let me focus on my son. And then that in turn led yeah. to him um, isolating true. his wife. But I like that he came out and he took responsibility for that. And I think uh, this should also be a lesson to people out there uh, that you need to drop people you love close to you, especially when you're experiencing grief, because you need people around you. By the time you isolate yourself from people, you find it hard to get back with them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anybody... So is Jamaica married now? Well, according to him, he's not. Eh. But, he did not but he did not say. But he did not specify did not say about him now. Or if he is, he just said, "I'm separated." I'm separated. Yeah. So he still kept us. So is this a divorce? Yeah. Or, so Jimike will always leave you guessing. It's Jimike now. So Jimike is giving me the energy of who was this guy in Big Brother that will answer questions but will not answer. What's uh, his name? That Kidwire. No. No, um, not Kidwire. We set. Ah, this last, this last one that ah. Yeah. In the diary room. That used to do apply pressure. Apply pressure. Oh. That you, you ask him something, he's answering, oh, do you oh, like oh. me? It's oh. like, I like you, but they got it What? Bright tool. Crazy. Bright tool. Right. Bright tool. Right. Yeah. He'll, he'll talk right. a lot and not say, ah. say anything. And he yeah. has not answered the ha. question. <laughs> that is a talent, child. Anyways, major shout out to Jim Mike. Some people are learning how to do that thing, child. Yeah, I mean, I mean, It might be good, it might be bad, but yeah. Okay, do you know you do it? A lot. You do do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't do it just now. He didn't do it just now, but he do do it. <laughs>